Hello friends, Dan Finity here, and today we're going to talk about the Elgato Facecam Mark II. Full disclosure, I was sent an Elgato Facecam Mark II by Elgato themselves as part of their ambassador program. I will supply my code and a link in the description for this video if you'd like to pick one up for yourself at a 5% discount rate. For those of you who don't know, the Elgato Facecam Mark II is the upgraded version of the Elgato Facecam Mark I that was released back in 2021. I have two Elgato Facecams in my rig uh, previous to receiving the Mark II. One that I stare right down the barrel of when I'm streaming, and another one to use for like whiteboard demonstrations for raid mechanics in Destiny 2, or just for general shenanigans. One of the things that I loved about the Facecam Mark I that is pretty ubiquitous throughout most of the Elgato line of streaming tools is how easy it is to pick up, plug in, and play. The flash memory on the device made sure that from stream to stream, I wasn't having to go through and white balance every time I wanted to use the camera. And that's something that the Mark II still shares. The Mark II actually has a lot of the same features um, with a few upgrades here and there that I think are worth the $20 difference between the Mark I and the Mark II. One of the things that Elgato is really pushing and focusing on with the release of the Mark II is the natural color tones. This is actually what my room looks like. When I did my AB comparisons between the Mark I and the Mark II, I was actually surprised by how warm the Mark I was compared to the Mark II just out of the box. I've had to do a little bit of adjustment with my lighting. I, I feel like the Mark II needs a little bit more light for the sensor. I don't know if that's anecdotal or not, but I do notice that I have to crank the lights a little bit harder with the Mark II over the Mark I. I even add a little bit of warmth to my left key light in order to bring out some of my natural tones. One thing with the camera that's fairly apparent is how low profile the Mark II is compared to the Mark I. When I've been streaming, I've enjoyed the Mark II over the Mark I uh, just because of the low profile. The Mark I occasionally, the, the way that I have it set up on my desk is that it is on top of my monitor to the left. I lift that and drop it as I sit or stand. Occasionally you would have the, the webcam get a little bit of tension on the cord and go <laughs> and just completely change the angle or it would be a little bit in the way for UI elements for games that I was playing on my monitor that is mounted on the wall. So sometimes I had to dodge and peck in order to see UI elements on the screen. With the Mark II, I don't have that problem so much. Outside of the hardware for Elgato's face cams, one thing that truly shines is the camera hub. And I think the Mark II stands heads and shoulders above the Mark I in this area. Something that I'm benefiting from here in this image is from the high dynamic range and the medium noise reduction filters here. They've really improved what the image looks like on the screen. They even added pan, tilt and zoom and face tracking to the Mark II. Uh, it is a little jerky in places, I'm not gonna lie. That's something that they can probably fix with software. The face tracking occasionally would track off of my face as well and onto the, the face on the t-shirt in the background here, uh, which was funny. One thing that will eternally creep me out is the eye contact effect on these cameras. Something about that algorithm just, it doesn't feel right to me. All in all, I will say, that if you are in the market for a webcam, whether you're trying to go for your first webcam ever for your streaming setup or just to upgrade your current one, I feel like the Mark II is a solid choice over the Mark I to pick up for your rig. At a price point of $149, uh, which is only $20 more than the Mark I, the Mark II is a very good future-proofing device, and I think that you will find a lot of use for it for years to come. And knowing Elgato, they're only gonna add more customizations as they put out more products in the line. In the little under a week that I've had with the Mark II, I'm really impressed with it and would highly encourage anyone to upgrade to it. That's pretty much all my thoughts on it, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope you find what you're grinding for.